These will be the tools that you'll need for this project. Phillips screwdriver, a pair of pliers, a 19 millimeter socket with uh, an extender, a number five millimeter Allen wrench, 12 millimeter open-ended wrench, some Teflon tape, and something to cut scissors, a knife, or um, something similar to that. Okay, we're going to show you how to replace the uh, fill pump for the La Piccola Grande Italy um, La Sicilia, one group. So first, this is for how to replace the steam pump, the pump for the steam uh, side. So first we're going to take the top off. Um, this is a little bit tricky, so if possible, if you have a magnet, that works well. These screws can be a little tricky. Get it out. Take the top off. And then we are going to take this side off. Take this off. We're going to take the fittings off. Water filter. We're going to take the tubes out, both the tubes out. Then we're going to take this metal piece out in order to access the pump. So in order to take that metal piece out, need an Allen wrench and it looks like possibly a number five. Yep, number five Allen wrench. And loosen one. I'm going to loosen the other. Take this off, and we will flip the machine over. And you can see there's nuts on the bottom over here. Take this out. You have to squeeze it a little bit. And then pull it out this way and pull it sideways. Okay. Um, before um, we disconnect the pump for the water, we are probably going to have to, we should drain the water boiler. We're going to drain the water off of the steam boiler this way when you disconnect the pump from the bottom water won't flow out so we're going to take off the um the bleed valve on top that's the easiest place to access it um, and we're going to use a 19 socket i'm going to unscrew it Then with a small tube, we're going to siphon out some water. Put the tube inside all the way to the bottom, and then we're going to siphon out the water.
once it's drained, we could put this back on. Going to put a little piece of Teflon tape on there so it doesn't leak. And put it back into place. Start it by hand first. Finish it with the number nineteen. to clip the zip tie that are holding both of the rubber inlet tubes together. And then we are going to cut the zip tie that is holding the pump in the bracket. out the pump as we take the zip tie off. Okay. Once we have the pump out, we're going to disconnect the two wires. open-ended wrench you're going to loosen the fitting okay we're going to disconnect unscrew this and then if this um, compression fitting is not coming out with a pair of pliers lightly grab it and twist a little bit until it comes out okay we could leave this as is And then what we're going to do is take this off of the old pump. This should just pop off. Put it on the new pump. We are also going to unscrew this fitting. Um, we could hold this with a number 12 and possibly with a pair of pliers. Unscrew this. And then we're going to put a little bit of Teflon.
bit of new Teflon on, screw it into the new one. to reconnect this. going to reconnect the wires. back in and the top end. Then we will reattach the zip tie. Before putting it back together, we'll test it. Make sure that it works. up with water now it's heating up uh, now you can put everything back together put the top on and you should be fine good to go